Hey YouTube, what's going on? Bam from Bam's Gaming Studios here today, bringing you a long-awaited YouTube video. That's right, I'm back from the dev, baby. And today, I'm gonna return on the note I left on with the tutorial. Well, not really, I left with a couple gaming videos, but my biggest note was the tutorials. And I want to thank you guys for all the views, the positive feedback on those, and I really hope I helped some of you guys out that had questions, that were curious about that. And um, the updates on my channel this morning may have given you guys a hint that I was back. But, you know, I was kind of subtle about it trying to get back into YouTube. I've been streaming a lot. I'm still even doing the hand gestures and shit right now. Like, I'm streaming. Like, you guys can see me. But, uh, a lot more videos are going to be coming out now. I'm going to try to get at least one up a day. I've been so busy with school and football. I'm trying to get back into the groove, guys. Um, excuse me if I make any mistakes during this video. I'm still half asleep. But this is going to be how to make a TeamSpeak 3 server for Windows or any, any uh, kind of computer. It may be different slightly, but it's mostly the same. Alright, so let's hop right into this. First of all, I'm going to delete this. I've, uh, I've actually um, recorded this video once before, and I kind of was like really, really half asleep, and I, I made so many mistakes, it was out of this world. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Google, or your preferred browser, whatever. Alright, type in teamspeak.com. Alright, now that you're on the TeamSpeak website, Go to downloads. Go to TeamSpeak 3 server. It doesn't matter if you click on it or not because you can just click on it from here. Go to the server. Whatever you use, Windows, Mac, Linux, whatever the hell that is. Um, select if you're, you have a 32-bit computer, which is Vista's. You know, even some Windows 7s are, you know, 32 bits. Or, you know, an operating system can be 32-bit is what I'm trying to say. All right. Anyways, I'm 64-bit. Download the 64-bit. This is like the eighth time I've done this. All right, you're gonna wait for that download. My internet's being especially slow, and so is my computer, due to like having like five gigs left. No, I'm kidding, but I have like 20 gigs, and it's really killing me. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do about that. Um, I think I just need to upgrade my hard drive. But anyways, off topic. Open this up. Uh, my WinRAR subscription's out. Just ignore that. All right, you're gonna wanna drop this onto the desktop. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again. All right. All right, so what you're going to do is open up the TeamSpeak 3 folder once you have it on your desktop. Minimize Google. You're going to need it again. All right, and start this right here. You're going to need this. This is well, obviously the only uh, executable in the file, and it's, it's what starts the server. So give that a minute. It'll start up, and you're going to get a pop-up. Let's give it a second. Jeez. All right, here it is. This is the this is the good shit right here. This this stuff will get you all the money and women you could ever imagine. But nah, seriously, what you're gonna want to do is create a text file to keep this shit in because you're gonna need it. All right, so just type like you know whatever, name it whatever. I'm gonna name it admin info. Wait, admin info info for TS3. All right, TS4, whatever. <laughs> All right, um, so just save this. You're gonna need it eventually at some point if you really get into um, like the server stuff. This is the this is the uh, court whatever. It's the password and username for that. All right, just keep that stuff in there. All right, you're gonna need this access key, and it's gonna be the first thing that Teamspeak asks for ask you for when you log on. It's so you can become an admin and create channels and groups and all that shit. Great shit. Wow. Alright. Start up your TeamSpeak 3 client. Go to connections. Hit connect. Type in the local host right here. Nickname. Whatever. Hit connect. Connected. And it'll connect. Enter privilege key right here. Paste exactly what I told you guys to save. This right here. The big, the big one. Hit OK. Privilege key successfully used. There you go. You're a server admin. Now you can create groups. Or create channels, I mean, and let's just say BAM's office. Uh, password, whatever, I'm gonna make mine admin. Description BAM's dungeon of rape. Alright. Channel type permanent. Uh, need to talk power, and just blah blah blah. That's all in permissions. You guys can get into that if you want. Um, go to permissions. 
if I'm gonna just do a little quick thing on this do like add and let's say newbie guest alright so the guest get this um, they're not gonna be able to I'm not gonna let them manage channels on all that stuff and we'll do a show behind name so people can see that they're newbies uh, and client can download files on that that's all just and hit keep permissions applied there you go and um, I'm pretty sure you can set this as the default group I'm not entirely sure but um yeah guys you guys can get into all that I'm not big on permissions I'm just here to show you how to do this um, all right, now that you have that made, you can go to it, switch the channel, whatever, and you know, channel admin, you created it, server admin. Anyways, all right, let's hop out of TeamSpeak and hop into the next part of this tutorial: how to port for the damn thing. All right, this is gonna bother me. I gotta change this. Shit's gonna bother me. All right, there we go. All right, so you're gonna wanna type in CMD down here. Open up CMD. Beautiful. All right. Type in IP IP config. Not not two IPs, but I was just saying it for you know emphasis. All right, you're gonna need your default gateway first of all. So open up Google again, and type in your default gateway. Mine is 10.0.0.1, but that's just for my router. All right, the default username and password for pretty much every router is admin and password. If that doesn't work, call your ISP, um, your internet service provider. By the way, it, same thing. Um, ask your parents if they've changed it, if they're the techie kind of parents, or ask yourself if you've changed it in the past and try to remember. Anyways, so username, admin, password, password, login. All right. Oops, this is for my old thing. I forgot to type in password, password. All right, there you go. It's going to log in. Some routers might warn you that you're using a default password. You don't need to change it. Um, <clears throat> pretty much every router, it's going to be an advanced port forwarding all right go ahead and hit add service now here's where things get swifty yeah I just said that all right let it load service name we're gonna go ahead and name this TS3 talk port now you guys are gonna understand why I named it that in a second um, I'm gonna put these ports down in the description or you guys can just pause the video whatever so your server IP address is going to be your IPv4 address right here. It's 10.0.0.176. That's mine. Yours is going to be different. But just letting you guys know, it's going to be your IPv4 address. None of this other shit. And make sure it's on your wireless LAN adapter um, network connection. Don't look at any of this other shit. Look at this right here with all the info. And make sure you look at IPv4. IPv4 once again. All right. So start port 9987. End port 9987. Now make sure you set the service type for this port in particular to UDP, and then hit save. All right. Beautiful. Hit add service again. All right. Now name this um, whatever I don't really it doesn't matter what you name these it's just to keep them organized um, name this TS3 port um, we're gonna go ahead and do this one earlier make sure it this port is TSP TCP my bad TCP it cannot be UDP or TCP slash UDP it has to be TCP and uh, make the server IP address the same IPv4 you used on the last one. Um, once again, right here. The start port is going to be 10.0.0.1.1. Or I, I, I put too many zeros in there. You guys get the, the point. It's 10.0.0.1.1. Hit save. Beautiful. All right. We're going to hit add service one more time now don't worry about where mine disappeared my router is just all messed up but um, the last thing you're gonna do here is it loads because mine is being slow as fuck I don't know why alright name this TS3 
file port. The server address IPv4 once again. You guys get it by now. Right here. Start port 30033. End port 30033. Make sure the service type is set to TCP. Save it. Beautiful. All right, now you have all three port forwarded. Yours, you, all of yours are gonna show here. Mine is just fucked up, so ignore that. All right, you guys can go ahead and close this page, close this page out, whatever, close this out, and you're good to go. Um, well, actually, I lied. Um, you're gonna want to open up what is my IP dot com. All right, and this is gonna load up. Mine says some hello weird shit, but normally you're gonna get like a normal IP here that's like you know 76.108.156.76 or whatever um, and just give that to your friends and you're good to go they can connect to your uh, server you can connect to your server for you to connect you're always gonna want to use localhost because um, Sometimes it doesn't let you go through your external IP, so just use localhost, hit connect, connect, and you're good to go. See, um, and yeah, that's that. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, expect videos almost every day. I'm going to try to work on that. And um, yeah, glad to be back.